Hey, Chase, we should go and um, interview Dad today, just like for fun, you know, just to see. <laughs> Hey dad, what you doing? Just in here doing nothing. What are you guys doing? Working, buddy. Well, we just wanted to kind of just like give you a little interview today. Like, what would you give to someone for inspiration today? Ah, uh, um. Hey, why don't you just do one of your poems? Just, just tell us one of your poems today. Okay. Uh, let me think. Oh, how about this? Uh, cheat in a gazette. <laughs> That's uh, what I would do. All right. <laughs> hey, this one has to do with, okay, what's your motivation? What drives you? What gets you out of the bed in the morning, in the morning and, 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 and uh, spurs you along? Uh, so here goes. A cheetah and a gazelle, never friends shall they be. For a cheetah is a gazelle's natural born enemy. 60 miles per hour is a gazelle's top speed, but a cheetah can reach 70 if it really feels the need. Now, simple math says that the cheetah should always win the race, or it can achieve a speed at that such a much faster pace. But alas, statistics show that one out of 19 is that cheetah's chances to succeed, or that gazelle has something on its side that's better than just plain old speed. Now, they both have different reasons for why they have to run their race. One is running simply to catch up, and the other one's running, of course, from being chased. Yes, that gazelle is running for his life, and that cheetah's just running for a quick meal. If that cheetah fails, he misses dinner. But if the gazelle fails, of course, he gets killed. But despite those odds, that cheetah continues to come back again and again and again. But the gazelle's endurance and stamina tends to always help it win. But when starvation starts to loom from that cheetah's many failed attempts and tries, the cheetah's motivation changes dramatically, and now they're both running for their lives. But still, that gazelle has one other thing that tends to help it get away. See, it can zig and zag from left to right, and manages to live another day. So the cheetah has a change of tactics to try to find a smaller, more weaker prey. One that lacks an endurance and stamina and tends to always go astray. Snatch it, grab it, shake it like a rabbit, and rob it of its breath. Enjoy its meal one bite at a time. It has nothing but bone. Now, I know this is a little bit graphic, but there's here something I'm trying to do. You see, the animals in nature have something that is in common with us and you. So what's your motivation today? What helps you to overcome? What gets you up early in the morning, bright and early to the rising of the sun? Are you following your purpose and your passion and leveraging your gifts and talents too? Or are you listening to the nonsense from the naysayers that are telling what you can and you cannot do? Keep your goals and dreams in front of you and they're sure to get you through. And remember that your dreams and adversity come in life to help you to be a better you. So whether you see yourself as this cheater who never gives up and keeps coming back again and again and again, or this gazelle that has this maze and endurance and stamina that tends to always help it win, keep those goals and dreams in front of you and they're sure to get you through. And never forget that the adversity comes to make you a better you. So don't let the memory of your last failure bully you into a mindset that thinks that you're all done. So get on out there again. One more day, my friend. And run, Forrest. Run. <laughs> That's my word to you. That's my word. You, 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 we came in here and you were like ready. You have that like on lock. Wow. Like for any situation there is, you just have that on lock. Well, thank you. That's, that's crazy. I learned in life that you can't always try to get ready. You have to stay ready. When uh, Craig Valentine blessed me with that particular quote, don't get ready, stay ready. People come and uh, ask you what it is that inspires you and makes you tick. So uh, if you're not ready, you need to get ready and then stay ready to be able to perform. Hey, for all you out there, all you people out there that uh, are sitting around thinking about something that you want to do, um, stop thinking and start doing it.
And keep that motivation in front of you and let it inspire you. Don't let the memory of your last failure bully you into a mindset that thinks that you're all tough. Right? That's my word. Guys, thanks for coming in and catching me off guard a little bit. And hopefully we've said something that inspired you guys. This is uh, MrGreatCrime.com and, and MrMakeItGreat.com saying, hey, we only get one time through this life thing. Let's not make it good. Let's make it great. Oh, see y'all later.